Greetings once again, heroes and villains out there, dudes this then, back again with The Flash! Previously, the Red Death unleashed their form of justice upon the world, because if they couldn't get back to their universe, they'd bring it here, or there, all with the aid of Gorilla Grodd. As it turns out, after the crisis, Grodd's people lost their sentience, somehow, becoming nothing more than regular ape, leaving Grodd essentially alone. Bitter at this, the Red Death preyed upon Grodd, creating psychic Avatar Manifestation, Sentinel, to patrol the world and unleash justice. But Barry tracked down Grodd and managed to convince him to do the right thing. And after engaging in a climactic battle against the Red Death, along with a little help from the Flash's group of rogues he gathered, Goldface, Pied Piper, The Hotness, it was the arrival of Batwoman, Ryan Wilder, that sealed the Red Death's fate. Now locked up, everything has essentially gone back to normal. Although Joe has gone through with leaving the city along with his daughter, with Cecile staying with Team Flash and in the city to do her practice on the weekdays, and on the weekend she'll go to a nice quiet place to not read people's emotions and their minds and so on and so forth. And to top it all off, Iris is pregnant. Ooh, it might be great that the Flash has super speed because that's the one thing any parent or anyone who's had to deal with children in general would love to have when rearing children. Will that be the Flash's newest challenge? Join me as I find out, won't you? Uh-oh. It's funny, too, because it's the gambler's daughter, who was more of a character in uh, Stargirl. Did she control them? Oh, it uh, still seems like you have your powers. Huh. Oh, really? Okay. Seems the good luck powers were still there. Oh, oh my. Oh my! <laughs> Wait, how how did you end up choking? Oh, so her good luck pretty much evaporated. Oh, is he cheating on her? Oh, Jesus! Um, I mean, but well, depending on how long the body's been <laughs> dead, Jesus, <laughs> that is not the direction I thought this was going. I was deceived by the happy music. Ah, uh, so this is gonna be a Cecile episode. See, I don't know how to say this. I like the character of Cecile, but she's not gonna be the breakout character that it feels like the show is trying to make her to be. I mean, other characters in the Arrowverse have gotten very lucky. Felicity Smoke, who was essentially just a reinterpretation of Chloe Sullivan, who was kind of a reinterpretation of Barbara Gordon. Yeah, I think. She got into the comics briefly, and then disappeared. John Diggle got into the comics briefly. He hasn't really been there as much lately. Emiko was kind of a retroactively introduced character. You think they would have done something more with the White Canary, yada yada yada. And even the introduction of Dreamer, who's like the biggest thing for the LGBT community. Like, she was a big push. Also, Ryan Wilder. She was introduced to the comics too as a new Batgirl. Of a Batwoman, but I just don't see Cecile crossing over to the comics. Well, let me rephrase that. This version of Cecile, because like Felicity, it's a reinterpretation of another character. There is a Cecile that was originally from the comics, they remade into this Cecile. It it's a whole thing. Thing. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of the characters they brought in for this series are just probably not going to be standouts in the comics. Oh my goodness. Although I'd be happy to be proven wrong. You know, Allegra was from the comics. She could reappear. She hasn't appeared in years. Chester P. Cecile. Frost? Uh has still actually been fairly prominent. Caitlyn Snow? Like, she's basically usurped the whole Killer Frost thing, but there's still other Killer Frosts out there, they're just not as prevalent as Caitlyn Snow now. She, she, she took over and has become the biggest thing. Louise Lincoln is still out there. Crystal F Frost, I think, is out there. They've all, like, made p appearances post New 52 alive and stuff, but Caitlyn has been at the forefront. 
Chill Blade, I don't think has appeared in years, or a version of Chill Blade. I don't even think Joe West has appeared in years. In the I think he died. Did he? I don't know. Shoot, this series actually helped to make Vibe back into a major thing. Actually, it was the New 52. Made him a major thing. And then he just dropped off hard when Cisco stopped appearing in the series. I think the he stopped appearing in the comics, and then he stopped appearing here. Which was a shame, because I liked Vibe. Oh no, I'm off on a tangent. Okay, so... No running Iris from place to place while she's pregnant. Also, that hair on her. Beautiful. Damn, that is gorgeous. That is a look. I guess I'm so used to seeing her with the dyed red hair because, you know, Iris in the comics had red hair. And they actually have to spend money on gas now. Landlord. Uh, ooh, hot water problems are the worst. Oh my god, I... I'm glad they finally got over this will they won't they thing, but man, ugh, PDA. Oh yeah, new power. Well, there we go. Ooh, Chester and Mark teaming up. I'm actually kind of cool with this. Yeah, explore Keon's abilities. Again, I doubt she'll be in the comics, but I need to get over that. I, I just have this thing. I want certain characters to live on in the comics. And I love those moments where obscure characters have this grand return and stuff. Geoforce had a grand return to the comics not too long ago, and it was a little too close to Young Justice, the series. Oof. Oh, the fiance's in a coma. Yeah. Oh, and then on this tip. Oh, that's a sad up if I ever heard one. And to have someone whose luck has turned from good to bad be set up for a murder charge? Yeah, no, something's up here. And this is why I'm actually taking a Kramer. She's so much cooler than a comic book counterpart who turned into a real pill. Like, and she was kind of bad at first, and she did a whole 180 once she found out she was a metahuman and all that, but I, I liked her. They've really done a good job of making me like her character in this series. I mean, doesn't she have a pickup for the dress or something? I mean, when was it committed? Could they tell how fresh the blood was? <sighs> I don't know. It, yeah, she's gonna be in a holding so, yeah. Holding spells still suck. Don't ask me how I know. But, I mean, <laughs> when it's between that and going to jail. Uh-oh, uh found the weapon. What was the weapon? Ah, uh, really? A heal? Her heal? Oh, and this is... Oh, right. This is right before she can go see Joe and Jenna, and now there's this case. Oh, snap. Maybe this only coming home on the weekends thing is, uh, <laughs> not, not for the best. Oh, yeah, Becky was supposed to have died. The thinker had took over her body and stuff. A lot of people came back during Christ. Man, we use crisis to just wipe away a lot of things, but no, that's how it happened in the comics. <laughs> Like, this show has actually done a real good job of really just showing you the absolute bizarreness of the universe reset. It's like, wasn't that person dead? Yeah, crisis happened and now they're back and they apparently don't have the same past because Becky was a criminal. I feel like maybe Becky shouldn't be here. Allegra's powers are... Very helpful, though. Don't look at the bed. Little black light abilities. Poker chip? Don't put it in your mouth, Tainer. Maybe it's someone she wronged in another universe? Oh, his brother. Wow. Is he jealous? Is she still picking up on something? Love the ominous music playing. Wait, the gambler? No. Wait, no. Gambler's usually related to... No, there was a new gambler introduced after the new 52 alongside the regular gambler. That might be what they're pulling from after the New 52. I don't think that gambler was ever named, though. I don't know. Is Tony setting them up? Or is Tony the gambler? Maybe he redirect whoever he owed money to, to Dom. I actually, <laughs> I'm actually invested in this. I, I just love crime drama stuff. It's very surface level, but I love the investigation. O'Shaughnessy? Oh god, is it the Royal Flesh Gang? It always leads back to O'Shaughnessy. Gambling here too? Jeez, Joe. Oh, really? Just- Oh. Uh... Oh, is that her powers? Jesus! Oh, sturdy bottle. Or- Oh. <laughs> oh, she was trying to actually do something. Oh. Uh, Allegra, do something! You have powers! Ooh, nice! There we go! Thank you, Allegra! Yeah, I feel like Cecile... Because of her emotional state, did she miss? 
Fist. <laughs> right? Just like, God damn it, this is the fifth time this week. And now I put in my two weeks resignation. Uh, Chester, I forgot how weird you are. Okay, yeah. So, all, all different accounts, Mark should be dead, but... Keon has had this weird ability to, like, read life. Is it maybe that anything that contains water? Or can the manipulation of water? Because I was thinking, like, with the blue highlights, maybe it's some kind of, like, she can detect certain things in body. She has the connection with plants, she has the connection with humans. What do they have in common? They both contain water. Maybe it's something to do with water. She can detect things through the water. But healing abilities, I mean, maybe it's like Katara with the waterbenders. You know, the healing touch and all that. <laughs> I love just it's like, then you kiss me. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. And yeah, unless Mark has somehow gained the ability to heal himself, which... Eh. But nothing would really explain how he has meta ability. The, the cosmic treadmill exploding? Nah, that wouldn't be it. Unless maybe Mark has some latent meta human ability. But Keon's being mighty dismissive to all this. Is Mark maybe trying to find what he saw in Frost? Is he gonna get obsessive about this? I mean, maybe kick like a reader on her. Just to see if maybe something happens... Because she had to have had something going on at some point. Maybe it's unconscious. Ah, uh, Mark. Uh, I think he was looking for a glimmer of frost. I mean, at least now they know there's obviously something up, though. Okay, banking records. Oh. I mean, you should still be able to see most of it. Well, the coffee stains wouldn't be that bad that you couldn't see the records. And she missed her train. Then, oh, birthday. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, of course, and immediately she gets captured. Oh, what's that? What was that? Nice. Oh, and it's fried. Uh. Oh, she. Huh. That was weird. Her powers are literally turned against her. Weird. She herself is emotionally compromised. Yeah, what is that? Oh. Chester's got a hunch. Oh, that was actually a sweet moment. Not with them being overly lovey-dovey, but actual nice reaffirmation of love. What the heck is that? What was that? It made him confuse the kiss. Yeah, to wake up to that face kissing you is like, holy shit, is she in there? Is, is the possibility still there? <sighs> oh, Mark, I thought we were over this. I actually feel really bad. Yeah, what was that? Or maybe there's some part of Frost in Mark? So maybe something of frost exists within him how how would that bring him back oh talking about you know part of the person he loves still exists is it him snowing inside i don't understand huh well, yeah this this was honestly the kind of thing i was like is this really gonna work out like i don't know you stay that all that time away and of course it immediately went wrong I knew this was going to be hard on her. Yeah, I knew this was going to be hard. The whole idea of a parent only seeing their child on the weekend. Yeah. See, I knew that... Yeah. I knew this wasn't gonna work out, because I already know parents who try to do this and barely spend time with their kids, and it is hard on them. The ones who really love their kids, stuff like this is so hard on them, because the whole idea of not seeing their children as much, and the moment their work starts encroaching on their time with their kids, oh, no, no, baby. Yeah, th this had bad idea written all over it from the start i thought maybe maybe it could work out but i don't know maybe they can make this work kind words but it's not really a solution i found something dark matter refractor wait a crystal that reflects dark matter is that what's becky's on becky's ring and the brother said he helped pick out the ring oh and that's why becky's powers have been backfiring on her that's why coming into contact or being near becky causes powers to go wonky wait one time use only yeah but you would need a new crystal all the time i thought you said it's one use only is it just the simple fact that she's wearing it you'd have to have the crystal on a person 24 7 oh it's 
It has stayed active ever since she's been wearing it. Okay. I actually like this. The, the, the obvious thing was there from the beginning. Yeah, but how would turning this back on Becky benefit him, though? That's what I don't understand. I mean, is she still working at the casino? Or is someone looking to use Becky for their benefit? I've never known bars to have a casino night. Oh, so Tony hired these guys, made her work here in order to make him lucky. But when the people who own this place get suspicious of Tony constantly winning? Like, how does a bar have the money to pay out all this? He tried to stop him. Huh, okay. I mean, get in contact with the owner or something. Oh, oh of course they got made immediately. And I'm gonna turn off the lights. I mean, you kinda needed saving. Ooh, hey, at least take the gun away from the guy. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, and it's gonna backfire, yep. I wouldn't move. I would not move. And he tripped down the stairs, of course he did. And knocked out the other guy into the buffet. Uh, nice. Aw, well, that was fun. Honestly, it was figuring out everything that was the most fun of this episode. I, I honestly actually like just the mystery of what this was all about. Who was organizing that blackjack thing, though? Freaking poker night? What the hell? I thought she was gonna try to get home. Like, why are you having breakfast with these guys? I hope this is, like, Monday or something. Yeah. Cecile's powers were because of her confidence, yeah. Her mental state was causing her powers to be unstable. I know it's kind of contrived, but, I mean, it's the most common explanation. Shoot, that was the whole premise of, what was it, Spider-Man 2? Yeah, it got real lucky. He just happened to wake up from his coma. Oh. Ew. Oh. Have Allegra stay here at the house. She's not having, she's having a bad time at her apartment, so have her stay at the house until, you know, more than likely Allegra will move in with Chuck at some point, and then at some point Barry and Iris will take over the house. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay, she's about to leave. And they have the house all to themselves to, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> One week later. Uh uh uh. But what about the powers? The sudden snow. Oh, they're coming. Would have been hilarious if they immediately started getting down and dirty. Bebashawa! Nora will be here in a flash. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'd say, aren't you worried that someone would, like, think about that, but at the same time, it's just like, you live in the city that's protected by the Flash. I'd just be like, ah, oh, they're probably Flash fans. I honestly didn't think we were gonna get these in-between episodes, considering this is the last season. Okay, what's up? Wait, what did he find? Zero Dark Matter Level, zero Cold Shijima. Yeah, you are. Did Frost get transferred to... Mark? Wait, she's not a meta and she's not human. Huh? Wait, what? Okay, I'm so confused then. Maybe the experiments they ran turned her into something else? Cause there's obviously something up with her powers and ability. Has she turned into a god herself? <laughs> Accidentally achieved godhood. Huh, curiouser and curiouser. Well, I know for most this will be a very boring episode, but I got a lot out of this, you know? It was a good episode, I felt, to talk about a lot of the side characters. You know, again, I said it before, I'll say it again, I don't think a lot of these characters are gonna appear in the comics. Like, Hyun... Chill Blaine, Chester P. Like, I don't expect to see them anytime soon after this comic ends. I mean, after this series ends, sorry. But maybe. But I don't think they'll take after their portrayal in the show. Or maybe they will. It's hard to say. I don't know. The comics have been interesting. But their focus hasn't really been on the smaller moments. And even when they try to incorporate characters who have been more major standouts in shows, you know, they don't really stick around. Take Artemis Croc from Young Justice. She was incorporated into the comics, but never really stuck around, even when she was popular in Stargirl, too. I think she just had that minor appearance in uh, Damien's storyline on uh, Lazarus Island, but 
That was a completely different interpretation of her. But my question becomes, does that matter to you? Do you enjoy the side characters of these series? Are they standouts to you? Do you like their episodes? I, I vibed with this episode for the most part, but just because, hey, if I'm going to spend time with these characters, some part of me is at least a little bit invested, but I know others could care less. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of The Flash. And until then, I've been Deuce this in. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.